Caught tonight, a little girl's aunt arrested for hiding marijuana in the child's lunchbox. There she is, and now she's out of jail and not shying away from the situation. Let's go to local 10 news reporter Andrew Perez, live now in Fort Lauderdale with the details for us tonight. Andrew. You know, she came out of jail. She was all smiles, dancing around, really hamming it up for the camera. But you know what? Authorities are saying that this is serious. She's facing some serious charges. They're saying she should not have involved a young child like that. How are you? I just wanted oh, to get your side. Thank you. Have a great day. Listen, she was somewhat friendly, avoided almost all our questions, though. Did you hide pot in a little girl's lunchbox? Are we done? Did, did you hide Are we pot? done? Tasha Sims enjoyed the camera, but wasn't exactly too thrilled to see us behind it. How's my hair? The 33-year-old is accused of hiding marijuana inside a little girl's lunchbox. It was allegedly found when a Pompano Beach deputy pulled her over. Police say the young child was in the front seat without a seatbelt. You've been charged with neglect of a child without great bodily harm, possession of cannabis. We heard more about the case earlier in bond court. Police say they stopped her because the registered car owner didn't have a valid license. When he pulled up, the officer says he saw the little girl and smelled marijuana. According to the report, he asked repeatedly if there was anything in the car. At first, she said no, soon after admitting to it, say police. A metal grinder was found with small amounts of marijuana in the lunchbox. The young child sat there next to it as police questioned Sims. When you come to court, you'll find out. Back at the jail, she would only joke and say we would hear her side eventually in court. The report says she admitted she messed up and that this was wrong. The young child is a family member. And we are told that the child was released to her mother when all of this happened. In the report, Sims says that she panicked when the officer pulled her over, and that's why she hid the grinder and hid the marijuana. We spoke to her family late tonight. Obviously, she didn't clarify anything, but relatives are claiming that the lunchbox does not belong to that little girl. For now, we're live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew, thanks a lot.